Hi everyone, this is Elisa from An Eyes Toy Box Crochet and I'm here to do a tutorial. I am going to make this jellyfish. Take a look at that. It's got these luscious tentacles which is a yarn eater. Okay, so let me tell you what you need. Uh, actually, let me tell you a little bit of the background of this jellyfish. Uh, years ago, you know, when I was looking at crochet patterns a lot and everything, there was uh, the British hospitals were asking people to make jellyfish like this one to give to the hospitals because um, the tentacles, like these these long tentacles, n premature babies felt got comfort in squeezing them because it reminded them of the umbilical cord in, when they were inside the tummy. And so I always really, really liked it, liked the idea of doing it. I did not really, in my limited research, I didn't find that American hospitals were looking for it. I didn't check Canadian because I'm living in America right now, so, or you know, United States right now, so I wasn't, you know, looking in Canada. I wanted to uh, do it locally, and they weren't looking for it. But I liked the idea of giving comfort to a baby. And um, so, you know, like, um, okay, don't quote me on this exactly, but I heard, I did not research this, but I heard that the biggest trauma any one person will ever, ever face is being born. So the idea of being able to comfort these little babies who have gone through the most traumatic experience they'll ever have in their life is very appealing to me. So when a friend asked me to uh, make something for her friend who was pregnant, uh, I asked her, what do you want, obviously? And uh, she said, you choose, I trust you. So I decided to make a jellyfish. I designed this jellyfish uh, and uh, I have, uh, my cousin is having a baby. And so I decided I'm gonna give this jellyfish for my cousin so I made it I did film myself making it but I have this new tripod um, because my last one broke and uh, I need to get used to it I basically thought I was filming it but all I was filming was the shadow of me working hopefully this time I'll, ha I'll do a better job but anyways this is what we're making the jellyfish what do we need to make the jellyfish we need yarn. This is um, Lion Brand Comfy Cotton. It is a uh, three weight. It says so on the label, but to tell you the truth, this is, uh, I love this cotton from uh, Hobby Lobby, and I kind of feel like they're the same thickness. So I'm going to treat this like a four, and I'm going to make it with this. I'm using scrap yarn. This, by the way, I made with um, Lion Brand. Where's the label? Here with, uh, sorry, Lion Brand Ice Cream Cotton Blend. And it's 100 grams, and I used the entire skein. There is no, nothing left. So when you're making this, plan for a minimum of 100 grams of yarn, or how many yards is it? Uh, 225 yards. Just an FYI, these tentacles are yarn eaters. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Line brand comfy cotton and I've decided I'm going to use some of my working yarn and use them up so I have like three colors here of I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby I love this cotton I mean uh from Hobby Lobby now uh just uh, an FYI if I were to try to donate this jellyfish to a British hospital they would reject it because it is a cotton blend not a hundred percent cotton this one would be rejected too. But I'm just doing it with a cotton blend because that's what I have. This is not going to be used anyways. It'll be fine. So you'll also need, along with the yarn, you'll need a hook. I'm using a three millimeter hook. Let me see if that is on focus. It's really hard to tell. There we go. So I'm using this three millimeter hook. This hook is, um, and I'm also going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook. Now, 
you'll need scissors, you'll need a yarn needle, and you'll need a stitch marker. Now, before I continue, these are what I am using. You don't have to use the same supplies as I'm using. You can make your uh, your jellyfish with whichever yarn you want. You could use a seven weight, you can use cotton thread, you could use any weight yarn you want, but be sure to adjust your hook to the yarns, uh, yarn weight. So for example, if you're planning to use a uh, comfy cotton and a three millimeter is like too small for you don't think you could do it with a two millimeter then adjust your hook and use whatever it is you usually use if you're planning to go for a 3.5 then you could do the whole thing with 3.5 you don't need two different hooks i used a 3.5 millimeter only on the tentacles so it's nice and squishy now if you're using a 3.5 millimeter you can use this all the way through you don't need to change the yarn uh, your hook size uh I'm going to tell you how to adjust this if you want to adjust it, like the tentacles. You could adjust it, you can make uh, the tentacles as long as you want, you can make it as short as you want. You don't have to do what I did. This is just, it's my pattern, but you don't have to do it exactly the same. Uh, anyways, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the magic ring. This is how I make my magic ring. If you make it different then please use whatever way you're comfortable in making it uh, I hold this end between my middle my uh, index finger and my thumb and then I wrap it around my finger and I make sure to go across and then I hold it with my um, ring finger and my pinky so once I hold it I'm gonna pull off the ring put my hook in and then I will hook the yarn, bring it up and make a little chain. And that's my magic ring. Now, if you make it differently, if you are comfortable in a different way, then please, oops, ah, okay, let's do this. Maybe this will be better. If you make it a different way, make it a different way. Do it your way, do it the way you're comfortable with. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, this is my pattern, it's true, but the project that you make out of it is yours and you need to be satisfied with your project. You do it your way, you do it the way that makes you happy. Okay, so we're gonna work six single crochet for round one, we're gonna work six single crochet into the magic ring. So I already did one, so I'm gonna do five more. five, six. And now that you have six, what I do is I kind of untwist this. So it's like that. And then I pull it tight. I've never had a problem with my magic ring coming undone. Um, but you know what? Do it your way. Some people like using a double magic ring. Uh, I find that kind of complicated, but that's okay. There's different ways to do things because there's different ways that make people comfortable. Uh, different people are comfortable by different things. That's what I meant to say. So then you go to the next round. I always have trouble going into this first single crochet. Sorry about that. I have trouble getting into the first single crochet after the magic ring. Uh, I don't know why. I always have trouble. But yeah, we got it, I think. All right, so now I'm going to do a ra round two, which is going to be increase, six increases. So that means you're going to do an increase in every stitch. Put in your, I don't know how you're comfortable. Some people are comfortable, you know, putting in later. I always put my stitch marker in right away. Um, yeah, so we're going to do six increases. Okay, just an FYI. If I'm not talking too much during this video, that's because this is my third attempt. I got a new tripod uh, because my old one broke. Well, tabletop tripod anyways. My old one broke. And yesterday, I spent all day making this and filming myself making this. But guess what? The whole time, because my phone is pointed do down, I can't see what's going on on the phone. Well. It turned out the whole time I was crocheting, I was off camera. So I had to delete that and I'm restarting it. And 
I think I'm just going to be concentrating really hard and getting it right. So if I don't talk too much, I apologize. It's not that I want you to be bored while watching this. I just don't want to make a lot of mistakes again. Again. I tried filming again this morning. And uh, <laughs> I kept losing count. Which is really, really strange for me. I don't usually... I could usually have conversations pe with people and still keep count. But this morning, I kept losing count. Okay, so we finished round two and we're starting round three. Round three is a single crochet increase six times that means you'll have one single crochet in between your six increases and you are going to end your round in an increase so single crochet increase am i on camera yes single crochet this is as low as my camera goes uh with this tripod um yeah just wanted to let you know I have to find a way that's comfortable. I'm being a little stiff because I want to stay in frame. Anyways, one increase. And I'm going to stop after this round to chat a little bit about this pattern. Ah. My iPad went to sleep. I really, you know what? I really should start uh, during tutorials. When I'm making a tutorial, I really should start printing out my patterns. I, my print is such a pain though. It's such a pain to print anything out. <sighs> such a pain. Okay, so yarn splitting is, I think my yarn is splitting today for two reasons one is i've been using um a furls for the past couple of days and i don't know anyone else who's used a furls and you've been using tulip or clover hooks at the same time you'll notice that you kind of have to crochet a little bit differently with furls than you do with your tulip or your uh, clover you kind of have to get used to the furls because otherwise the furls it's got this sharp teeth at the bottom and it uh splits your yarn it catches the yarn so um, I've been working with furls, so I've kind of gotten used to that. So right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with the splitting. Another thing is, another reason why my yarn is splitting is because I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. What does that mean? Three millimeters? The, re the recommended size of hook for a comfy cotton blend is right here. Oh. I'm going to turn the video around. I forgot. Right here, a J10 6 millimeter. So I'm using a, a hook that is half the size of what's recommended. So I will get a little bit of splitting because of that. Now I'm going to stop right now and talk a little bit about the head. I don't know if you noticed, but I did my best to make a beautiful curved head. I didn't want, want a flat head. And so to do that, to achieve this curved head, you kind of have to do your increases differently. You have to stagger your increases. What does that mean? It means that your increases will not line up. So in traditional amigurumi, you do like one single crochet and you'll notice one single crochet increase and then you'll do two single crochet increase, you'll do three single crochet increase. And then when you look, you have like a line going like this of increases. Now. If you want to have a nice round head, you don't want that to happen. Let's see, can you focus on this? All right, it's kind of focused. Um, if you look at this, you'll see there's no lines of increases. There is, uh, say, there's an increase right here. Uh, and in the next row, there's an increase right here. They're not in the same place. The increases are in different places. And that's what is called staggering your increases. If you stagger your increases, you get a much rounder amigurumi. Um, if you want to see the difference between staggering your increases and not staggering your increases, I do have a video that I will link below talking about staggering your increases. But anyways, that is why this design, instead of being two single crochet increase, it's single crochet increase 
single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I will still have two single crochets between each increases like you're supposed to have, but it's just the increases will be placed in a different place. So instead of ending my round in an increase like I did in the last round, um, it's going to end in a single crochet. So I'm going to do this single crochet increase. Oh boy. Hold on one sec. Okay. So I have developed seasonal allergies. I've never had seasonal allergies before last year and this year I have and today my allergies are getting to me I'm sniff if you hear me sniffling or sneezing which you didn't hear because I paused it before I sneezed um it's because of allergies okay so I just did one of the repeat which is single crochet increase single crochet let's see can you see that let me move no there's nothing to move okay come on focus focus all right can you see that? Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Now my next stitch, I know it's blurry, I know, I'm sorry. Um, the next stitch is gonna be an, a single crochet because we're doing single crochet, increase, single crochet. And that's our repeat for this round. So there, are two, there will be two single crochets side by side, which is what we want. But the increases are not gonna be falling in a line together. So I'm gonna continue like this. This gives a nice, rounded shape for your uh, for your squid uh, not squid your jellyfish so I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish this round which is si single crochet increase single crochet and I will end with a total of 18 single crochets uh, in this so let me see I'm on this increase here And then single crochet. Now, if it is easier for you to think of this as two single crochet increase, then do that. But be aware that you need to start with one single crochet instead of two. And you have to end with a single crochet. That's increase. And single crochet. Then the next repeat is one, two, three. I'm just... I had a little trouble keeping count yesterday when I was uh, working on the jellyfish and talking at the same time. I don't know why. I don't usually have too much trouble keeping count, but yesterday I did. And so if you see me pausing to count to make sure I have enough, that's the reason. That's the reason because I was having a little bit of trouble. So I'm just making sure I am showing you this in the right way. So now we have... 18 single crochets in this round so we go to the next round the next round is not a staggered round the next round is three single crochet increase until you reach the end you're going to do that six times there will be three single crochets in between each increase and you will end with an increase so at the end of the next round which is round five we're going to have 30 single crochets so one by the way i didn't mention um there is a written pattern for this if you like to have the written pattern it is a paid for pattern and it's available in both my etsy and my ravelry stores so if you prefer to be doing this and have the written pattern along with you while you're doing this and just crochet with me then i think that's great uh it's there it's available and if um If you don't want to buy it, that's absolutely okay. You could just follow along with me. I'm not a fast crocheter, so I am confident that you could keep up with me. Not in my, seems like I'm not even very good at it right now. <laughs> I keep splitting my yarn and then missing my stitches. What the heck? Anyways, whatever. It is afternoon right now and my husband's getting his COVID test today. Uh, not test, COVID vaccine today. And so I am probably going to leave soon because he's looking after the kids at the moment. Not that they need too much looking after, but chances are as soon as he leaves, 
my son is going to be coming here often to tell me all sorts of news. And so I think I'd like to give him that attention. And so I will stop filming then and give him the attention that he wants. And then I have to cook. So I'm not going to be here for too long. I'm hoping I could finish a few rounds before I leave. But you know what? You guys are not going to notice a difference because um, it's going to be a second for you because I'll turn off the camera and I'll come back probably maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I don't know. Depends on how my husband takes the vaccine. Meaning like if he gets sick after the vaccine, then chances are, chances are low that I'll be able to come. Not non-existent like i could go to the living room and sit on the table since he's not working and having meetings i could do some filming there but we'll see so now we finished round five we have 30 single crochet and now we're starting round six round six is another staggered round it's two single crochet to increase two single crochet so you're going to have at the end of that you're going to have 36 single crochets and there's going to be four single crochets in between each of the increases, but it is staggered and that staggered will make a beautiful round shape. Like you see right here. So we're going to do one, two, three, increase. One, two. So that's the first repeat of the round. So now I'm going to start again. One, two, increase. And then one, two. Again, next one is one. So like I said, I was having trouble counting when I was working on this earlier or yesterday. And so I am <laughs> going to try to concentrate on getting this right. One, two, increase. You could already see the curve. Do you see that? See the curve, how it's curving? Uh, and that is from the staggering of the increases. Now, if yours doesn't curve quite as much, don't worry about it, it's fine. Um, a combination of the very small hook is making it curve so much. And also because I crochet yarn under. And because I crochet yarn under, Okay, I did make a mistake there. Because I crochet one, uh, yarn under, my stitches are already tighter than if you don't crochet yarn under. What is yarn under? If you look at how my hook is facing right now, do you see that? It's kind of facing down when I hook the yarn and then I bring it through. That is what's called yarn under. Generally, people go like this and then pull through. Well, that's yarn over. Yarn under creates a tighter stitch, and that's why this is not only a smaller hook for the yarn, it's also a tighter stitch. So um, my, my amigurumi will curve a little bit more than people who don't use all those techniques, but you should still have a curve. Uh, regardless of what your uh, crochet technique is, you should still have a curve. All right, so I'm at the last last repeat of the round i'm going to end with a single crochet one two increase one two so that's the end of round six now we're going to start round seven round seven is five single crochet increase which means five single crochet in between your increases, but it also means we're going to end with an increase. This is not a staggered round. So let's start with this. 
one, two, three, hello, four, five. So I'm going to take a little break right here. Um, you guys finish this round, five single crochet increase until you get to the end of the round and um, you should end with an increase. See you in a bit. I'm back. Um, so I finished the round where it was five single crochet increase until the end to end with 42 uh, single crochets. So uh, we're on round seven right now. So I'm just going to double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing three single crochet, increase three single crochet. And we're going to end up with 48 single crochet at the end of this round. But it is six single crochets in between each increase. So one, two, three. I apologize for that. Okay, so three single crochet increase three single crochet. One, two, three. Increase. I was jumping ahead of myself, thinking I was further than I really am. Am I on camera? I hope I'm on camera. One, two, three. All right, that now. One, two, three. Increase one, two, three. See that you can really see the curve. Why is not focusing? Huh? Why are you not focusing? Come on, camera. Focus, there's nothing else on the entire screen. <sighs> All right, one, two, three. I want to get a better camera, <laughs> but I haven't even finished paying this phone off yet. So I doubt I'm gonna get one anytime soon. It would be nice, but it's not happening. Okay, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Two, three. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what colorway I'm using, this is chai latte. I was about to do the increase there. <sighs> I lost count. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. I figured it out. Um, so I am approaching the last repeat of this round. Two, three, and now one, two, three, increase. And then one, two, three. So the next round, oh, my iPad turned off while I was trying to figure out what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm having a lot of hard time. I don't know why counting and talking at the same time. I apologize for that. Okay, so this is we're at round nine now, and we're gonna start, and we're gonna do seven single crochet increase six times. And we're going to end with 54 single crochets. And that means there will be seven single crochet in between each of your increases and you will end in an increase. Uh, sorry, this table is a little bit 
um, it moves a little bit. It's because it's a rolling table, it's gonna move. But I'm gonna try to keep it as still as possible. One. Two. Three. Four. five six seven I don't know why why I am splitting so much today I don't usually split this much my yarn it happens but not this much anyways it's fine three I am not a super fast crochet Ugh, I can't talk I'm not a super fast crocheter anyways um Six, seven, increase. One, two, three, four, five. Increase. And I'm still doing seven single crochet increase. Except I don't know what number I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, just because I'm not on camera doesn't mean you'll know it, not you'll notice it. I had to run off. Oops, I'm getting some text. Uh sorry about that. Uh anyways. Just because it's not any time isn't wasted for you guys. It's just for me. I had to go off. <laughs> uh, and I'm like telling you, okay, well, I'm gone. Do this. And then I come back here and I realize, wait a minute. I didn't even do that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Increase. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase. All right. I'm going to do the next round with you and then I'm going to let you go do some rounds by yourself. Don't worry, they're not hard rounds. Two. I just wanted to do all the staggered rows with you guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. So the next round is going to be four single crochet increase four single crochet and that's the last of the staggered rounds after that there will be no more staggered rounds um i think i don't think i decreased with staggers no i didn't so um this is the last of the staggered rounds so i'm going to do this with you or at least most of it with you and then i'll tell you what to do for the next few rounds uh then we'll come back when the decreases start so let's do this this is four single crochet increase Four single crochet that means there's going to be eight single crochet in between every increase and you're going to end with a single crochet instead of an increase one two three four increase and that is so that you end up with this really nice round head see how round it is that's the reason why we're doing the staggers you could, you know, change any pattern that you have or find to have it staggered increase, to have a rounder head. Uh, like I said, if you want to see the difference, I think I already told you. If you want to have it see the difference, I did show a difference on a video. Uh, I will link it down below. Two, three, four, five, which means one, two, three, four, five. 
seven, eight. It's warm. It was such a nice day today. I went out for a walk earlier. It was beautiful today. Spring is coming. Unfortunately, oops. <sighs> New York City springs are totally too short. They're like spring is technically my favorite season. I say fall nowadays or autumn because um, spring is too short. We go from nice, beautiful spring weather to hot in like a few days. Like a week, two weeks tops is how long spring is before the weather is too hot. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. That's just weird. The ink pieces fell in the same place. Anyways, I'm a little worried now. Did I do something wrong? Yes, I did. I forgot an ink piece. And I just went on as though it was thing. So here we are. There's an ink piece right here, which I forgot. One, two, three, four, ink piece. Yeah, it helps sometimes to just look at your piece. And if your ink piece is seem like it's falling on the wrong place, then you know, okay, I think I did something wrong. Three, four. So that's the end of that repeat. Let's start the next. One, two, three, four. In this case, what I think is happening is that I'm not paying attention to the repeats. And you know, like sometimes after you count four, it's just, you continue counting four and there's no increases. So I think that's what happened. And I thought that was the end of the round instead of the middle of the round. Jeez. All right, increase. So I'm gonna tell you what to do for the next few rounds. Um, Okay, so we are right now on round 10. Two, three, four. Increase. So we're on round 10, which is eight single crochets in between every single, every increase, eight single crochets. So that's four single crochet increase, four single crochet, and we're gonna end with a single crochet. So eight single crochet in between every single crochet. But our pattern is four single crochet increase, four single crochet. And at the end of this, two, three, four, three, four. At the end of this round, we should have 60 single crochet. The next round, which is round 11, is gonna be 60 single crochet, which means we're just gonna do one single crochet in every single crochet all the way around. One, two, three, four. That's round 11. Round 11 is gonna be one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Round 12 is gonna be nine single crochet increase. That means there's gonna be nine single crochets in between the R increases and our last stitch will be an increase. After that, for round 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, five rounds, we're going to do single crochet, 66 single crochet, which means one single crochet into each stitch. So once you get down to round 17, come back and join us and we're going to continue. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to finish this round, which is four single crochet increase, four single crochet. Then we're going to do one round, which is round 11 of just 60 single crochet, which is one single crochet in each stitch. Then we're going to go down to round 12, which is going to be nine single crochet increase. All the way around, we're going to end with a single crochet. That is not a staggered round. And then for five rounds from 13 to 17, 
for five rounds, we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch. Anyways, I think my phone is dying. <laughs> I'll see you here soon. Bye.